Guntram, once your proposal is accepted, uh, how would it affect financial industry? Well, I think um, part of our proposal is indeed um, to uh, protect financial integration across the EU and towards the City of London in particular. So the idea is that um, the single market, the integrated market for goods, for services, including financial services, but also of course for uh, um, capital, will be maintained um, and uh, will be subject to one set of rules and one set of enforcement of these rules. And that would allow banking services to continue to be provided across the entire continental partnership. How do you see financial industry react to your proposal? I think they would especially want to focus on how uh, enforcement um, of single rules is actually happening and I think that's actually a very important point. Financial integration nowadays uh, depends um, not just on rules but also quite frankly on the enforcement of that rules. So I think it is absolutely fundamental in our proposal that um, we have emphasized that financial rules are imposed and uh, implemented. In what industries we can foresee immediate growth if your uh, proposal is accepted? Well, I don't think we can expect immediate growth in any industry, but I think what our proposal achieves is it minimizes um, the economic damage. It minimizes the economic damage that Brexit uh, entails. Um, and in that sense, I think it's good for both the UK, the citizens in the UK, as well as for um, the EU and citizens in the EU. Macroeconomic results uh, after your proposal is being implemented, both for UK and EU. Well, I think um, in, a, in a world where we wouldn't have our proposal, uh, we would agree only on a limited free trade agreement. And a limited free trade agreement would uh, represent a significant disruption um, to um, firms, uh, to investment, to growth. Um, we've seen uh, different institutions coming out with different estimates of the costs of Brexit. Now, there's a lot of uncertainty around those, but certainly it is true that if you increase trade barriers, and that's what you would do by reducing economic integration, if you increase trade barriers, you actually limit um, uh, economic activity and uh, um, you limit um, output and income. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.